Hey Huskies, this is Principal Hackbush on a Sunday. I'm in my office prepping for the first first day of school tomorrow morning, bright and early. Uh, focus this year is being better together, stronger together, better than ever. All right, and so now we are back full capacity every day. Now I know there's some questions about the smoke. Obviously, if we hear anything about the smoke and like if there's no school or something, then it's gonna be like a snow day so there's no school even digitally and we just stay home we start again when it's clear but right now school is a go um and so that's what we're planning for obviously we want students to kind of stay indoors as much as possible tomorrow um, especially if the air is like it is especially if it bothers you if you have asthma or something okay a few reminders are in this email that i'm sending out and parents you need to know that i send these out uh every sunday night Okay, so if you're not getting the updates, uh, we do put it on our website at www.rhshuskies.com, but you should be getting them on your email. So if you didn't, we need to figure out through the online registration and get your emails updated, okay? Um, I'm very excited about this school year, especially because it's really important that our students are here every day, seeing their friends, experiencing what real school's about. Um, that's about learning every day and seeing their friends and doing all the rituals and assemblies and pep rallies and games and all the fun activities that we have as a community. So um, I can't wait for that. I have some reminders for tomorrow morning. Uh, school building opens at 715. Uh, drop off in the parking lots off to the side or off of the road. Uh, stay off the back access road and also um, the front circle is off limits. Uh, we just got it paved and we got to keep cars off of it. So um, you'll probably see me out there kind of monitoring that. Um, let's see what else. Don't worry about school supplies so much. Just bring um, some paper and pencils tomorrow and then each teacher will go over their syllabus and tell you what you need. Um, that way okay and then they'll also go over class fees so if you didn't pay your class fees or you need a waiver or something we'll take care of that tomorrow uh, PE uniforms will be handed out uh, they are going to dress out in PE this year and uh, so that's important for you guys to know all PE students will report in the gym no matter what PE class you have even zero period weights you you check in in the main gym for roll then you go change then you go work out and then uh, that's how they do it Students, if you're not in a PE class, you don't cut through the uh, the gym to get to classes, okay? So that's a separate classroom. So go around the theater foyer or back roads to the side doors to get in. Most of the far right doors are open on the exterior, on the wings of the building and the back ramps, but uh, most other doors are locked. We will have two campus supervisors on the campus this year. Uh, they're there to assist you and really keep the campus safe so we're excited to have them uh so you'll meet them tomorrow all right uh, a couple other things if you have a tmcc english 101 class uh with miss Bine, that class doesn't start till august 23rd so don't report to that class okay tomorrow that always happens so you have a little time uh if you have that english class but also remember um, it's moved this year, so it's going to be in the theater classroom, which is that little classroom in the theater foyer. So not in the theater itself. Miss Reams is in there. The auditorium is a the theater, but there is a theater classroom, um, and that's where, uh, right in that theater foyer, where uh, Miss Bine will be for the TMC class on the 23rd. Okay. All right. Um, let's see what else I have for you guys. Yeah, just read through this email I gave you. It's kind of long, but it's got some important information. Obviously, students, you know the parking situation. You have parking pass. Um, stay out of the yellow spots. That's where faculty park. Then, um, okay, schedules. So tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning, schedules go live on the Infinite Campus. So you can see your schedule. All right, now, if you haven't come into the office to pick up your schedule, it means you have some business you still have to handle. So you need to come in the office and get that. Don't just report to class. So if you didn't come in and get your schedule and it didn't mail to you, you still need to come to the office and handle that. But if 
you have your schedule, we want you to log in first thing in the morning and just double check, make sure there's no weird changes, okay? We did have to make some last minute changes either with periods or with teachers because when Mr. Edwards got promoted to the athletic director, we had to do some switcheroos on the schedule. So you may have some different um, teachers on there. Miss Pusey is now Miss Fermoil because she got married. So if you see that on the schedule, that's who that is. So that gets a little confusing. And uh, Mr. Pace got the Dean of Students for Galena. So he's no longer with us and we, we're gonna miss him. He was 12 years with us as our athletic director. He's awesome and also social studies teacher. So we have Miss Mann assuming his classes and we have some switches on the schedule. So it shouldn't impact too many students, but just take a peek if you have any questions. I've included all the important dates for the year in this newsletter update. Uh, again, subject to change, we could be adding things. So just kind of, it should be a nice guide for you, like picture day, parent night, all those important things. All right, I talked about the air quality, so we're just gonna kind of go from what we hear. Uh, we're hoping to kind of plug through and be here tomorrow. If for any reason your student um, is ill because of anything and they can't make it to school, you need to call us. Attendance is very important, both for count day um, because we need to keep accurate record for pupil per, per pupil funding and how many teachers we have, and that'll happen in early September. But we also, so we need to track where all our students are every day. We also need to know if they're not coming so we can make sure they're getting the work from their teachers and that we're coding everything appropriately. And then you're not getting a call from me on why your kid's not coming to school. We already know. So just, just call before we have to call you. Email us all the information's in this uh, update, okay? We did get awarded a $40,000 tutoring grant. Uh, so we're putting together a plan for our core classes to have some, um, some tutoring. So that's gonna be awesome. And uh, all the high schools got that through a grant. So we're really excited about that. We have some senior yearbook portrait information embedded in here. We also have our ACT, SAT boot camp. We have one coming up very soon. So if you have a student that's gonna be taking those exams, you can check that out and get some extra help. Uh, again, I talked about the PE uniforms, athletics. So there's gonna be some information coming out on athletics. Obviously we're in fall sports. We started tryouts over the weekend yesterday. Um, there's gonna be a lot of information. We gotta juggle a few procedures. Everybody's kind of asking what we have to do on that. So just uh, hang with us. We wanna make sure we have accurate information. There was actually an NIAA meeting on Friday. So we're kind of just filtering that out, out and meeting with the um, school district to make sure we have all our accurate information. Um, but we have scrimmages coming up soon and games. So it's it's gonna happen really quick. So if you have any, if you need any help with athletics, again, Mr. Edwards um, is the athletic director and Ms. Rooker, Tina Rooker is our athletic secretary. They will be able to assist you, okay? All right, so just read through the rest of this um, that I'm sending out tonight and uh, for details. And obviously you can always get hold of us if you have questions. We're very excited to start the school year. And really the message is this, parents, we are in this together, okay? So believe me, nobody wants to start with masks, okay? I don't wanna start with a mask on my face, especially I'm probably gonna fog up if I wear these suckers. But bottom line is this, that is what we're being told we have to do. And if that means we can go full capacity every day and have these students experience live teaching every day and get involved with their uh, activities again and their sports and experience real school, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Hopefully we don't have to do it very long. Um, you know, schools are kind of in the middle of all the all the stuff in terms of COVID and, and what how people feel about things. So just know we're doing the best we can to provide school for our students, okay? So that's number one. Number two, it's okay not to be okay. So if we think about our students, all we want, and I'm a parent myself, all we want is our kids to be happy, healthy, and growing, okay? And so we need to be patient with everybody in terms of build, rebuilding our academic endurance. We're going from hybrid or full distance where we kind of set our schedules to everyday school, okay? 
we're going to need to dig in and have some grit. We're going to have to work together. Uh, we're going to have to have some vulnerability and be okay with that. And we're going to just need to support each other through this year. All right. We're kind of just re-entering school. It's going to be different. It's going to be tough. But I just know that we can do it. But we just have to have that perspective in mind and self-care and support of our students, social emotional needs, super important. So again, communicate, 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 whether it's at home or here at the school. Okay, just let us know so we know what's going on and we can work together on all those things. That's 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 the bottom line. We are so excited to get activities going again and have these kids see their friends again. It's just so important. So just know that that's 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 the key and, and you know we're here to learn and for students what you need to understand is this we don't micromanage you here at reno high school okay we're not we don't have we don't treat you like little kids you need to keep the campus clean you need to be in class on time you need to not wear a hat and hood you need to have your mask over your nose and mouth so we don't have to nag you and you just need to be where you're supposed to be working hard being kind to each other, and that's it, okay? At lunch, use the crosswalks, okay? Be back on time. Don't leave trash in the halls or out front. This is your school. That's what makes this place special is Reno High School, the students, you are in charge, all right? Now, we wanna work together with our students, and obviously some folks, you know, if we, if we have an issue, we'll deal with that kind of behind the scenes, but Overall, the upperclassmen, we're gonna need your help. Teach the pups the way and teach sophomores the way because they didn't really get that much last year in terms of that, all right? So again, um, we're gonna to work together. We're gonna to get through this. We're gonna be every, here every day <laughs> and we're gonna have a great year, Huskies. So hey, let's see you guys tomorrow, get some sleep and 21-22, uh, all right? Better together, stronger together better than ever.